Hi. How Welcome to my home studio. Thanks for having us. So everyone, we're here with Ophelia Shambliss. We are in her home studio and she's going to show us around a bit um, and we're going to learn about more about her production um, of her work. So thank you, Ophelia. My pleasure. So this first station is my mixing station. This is where all my empty jars and my brushes, um, where I make all of the colors that go into a lot of my acrylic work. This is my wall of sketches and ideas. So when I'm working on different paintings, what's coming up next? And you can see all the different color choices there. These are three pieces that I'm working on for the Yorktown um, that are waiting right now for installation. And then this is my mural wall. So it's covered with the materials that I can use push pins and put it up there. It's 26 feet long. Sometimes I have to you know, use multiple pieces of fabric to go on top of there. And sometimes I hang murals on top of murals or pieces of it together, but I'm able to project them and do them large here on this wall. Over here are my framing areas. So it's all by stations. Down here is where I do all my priming. So when I'm preparing and mixing my primer for the paints, all the buckets, the stirrers, mm -hmm. I prime nice. all my canvases in uh, black or a brown color for my mm -hmm. background. And then this is my oil painting station. Wow. So <laughs> this is where I do all my oil painting. Um, all the colors mm -hmm. are separated there. Um, separate brushes that I use for the oils versus the acrylics. And this is a piece that I'm currently about to do what I've been calling overpaints. Okay. Where I'm taking older paintings, um, applying some sort of a template um, or, or design to them and then repainting them, making them brand new. Wow. Uh, the template I've been using is a, a cutout that my grandson did. And I will show you more of that later. When and get and how old is your grandson? So he is seven years old. Yep. Okay. And he says that, you know, he loves that I use his template. He says he's going to be famous one day Aww. because his template gets used on all my paintings. Oh, he's great. <laughs> And then over here, when I used to do framing and some plaster work, a lot of crafty things over here. Mm -hmm. So my light box, um, all of my framing materials, um, I have all the, the hardware and I have all of the hand tools and jigsaws and things mm -hmm. like that. And then up here is my crawl space where I store all of my wow, extra paintings. This, guys. It's probably only about a 150 pieces up there now, but there are some times <laughs> <Only. depending> on <laughs> where they are, there only are hundreds up there. <laughs> and that's why I'm overpainting a lot of pieces yeah. because I have so many pieces. I decided to just repaint them and give them new life. So. Yeah. Is that so? That's the main reason why you started doing the template with the overpainting? Absolutely. Use pieces that you haven't. Yeah, because they're just sitting storage. there and they're okay. not going anywhere. Right. Uh, very often galleries want things that are less than five years old. Yes, so, yes, yes. To give them a new life. Um, okay. And I'm actually having a lot of fun. I think the whole COVID thing has just made me more, uh, I'm going to say reckless, but just really just to go at things. Yeah. I want it to do so unapologetically and just really have some fun with them. And yeah. They, I'm, I'm loving it. That's so. great. Awesome. All right. So I want to show you guys a little bit. Um, over at her where she kind of starts her process mm -hmm. um, and I thought this was really cool to to share because she was for her acrylic station she's sharing um, I mean, you guys can see that she's create making her own paints and mixing them and I just love to show this um, to everyone and she numbers them which is really cool and I'll have her talk a little bit more about that process um, but I just thought that was pretty interesting yeah. So when I'm doing mural projects or uh, working with community groups, I kind of feel like a color by number. So I, I go through the trouble of working out the sketch and the planning and the measuring because I have to make it something really large. So mm -hmm. planning has to go into that. And then when I do the sketch and figure out what colors are going to go where, I number the colors and I mix them for that particular project. Okay. I'm always thinking about where that mural is going to hang. So I have to make sure I'm using the right light fastness of the mm -hmm. colors so that they don't get faded if it's gonna be an outdoor piece. Mm -hmm. And then the community can participate. So all they have to do is like go find color number seven and that's what I'm painting, yeah, number seven. Yeah, perfect, yeah. So this is where all those colors are mixed and each mural has its own color palette. But I've gotten to the point where, you know, a certain blue, you know, like red's always number 15. So I've actually have my own numbering system oh, yeah, with my sense. colors. And every now and then um, a mural might get a different color and it might be, you know, 15 light or, you know, something like that. 
But yeah, so this is where they all get mixed really and cool. planned out. And then I actually put it on the fabric that it's gonna go on so we know what it's gonna look like. So that's oh, my cool. actual base color palette. Oh, that's awesome. You can see that. Yeah. Wonderful. So those are my Very primaries. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Love the colors. So um, speaking of murals, I know you've done several, not just in York, but other places. So. Mm -hmm. How many murals have you done with the community? I mean, you've I, done murals on your own, yes. but also with community members yes. as well. I have about 30 public art pieces, pieces that are in large scale, pieces that can be seen in public spaces. Um, probably about 20 of those are with community groups mm -hmm. or schools or institutions. Great. So to be able to do that. So I do them in different ways. Either I paint them and they help with the design or they actually do the help the painting mm -hmm. and then we do the installation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember helping years and years ago with one of the murals uh, and painting that on the west side of, mm -hmm. uh, um, was that on? Um, Is it Salem Square area? Yep, Salem Square. Yes, yep. Yes. yes, exactly. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so it's a very it's a fun process. I think it's really important because it gives people in that community um, a sense of having a hand in it. Yes. And and that also you know kind of gets them involved in the process. So art just doesn't show up in their neighborhood. Go where that come from? Yes. They were there and they help you know have a hand and paint that piece. And I think that's important. It is important. Have they ever have community members ever helped with a sketch at all? Like as far as ideas, I know you're you're the one creating it. But right. Have they have. Been? And very okay. often when I work with schools, mm -hmm. um, I work with the school kids about ideas. So they might have an idea. Um, I did a project in Lancaster where it was about diversity. Okay. So yep. kids start talking about there's different flowers, there's different fish. So the murals started being, and I ended up doing five of them about there was diversity of musical instruments. So one piece oh, yeah. had all these musical instruments. Okay. One had a bunch of different types of fish, different types of transportation. So they were all about diversity. But that was the theme, and then the yeah. kids drew those, and then I went in and refined them, and then tightened up the sketches. Great. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Ophelia. Is there anything else you want to highlight while we're in your home studio before we go downtown to your um, market view studio? I don't know. Since I was home because of COVID working here, I was really starting to enjoy uh, being here and working again. I'm really especially enjoying working with the oils. So right now I'm actually kind of working on both of them at the same time. So. Yeah, I, and that's one thing that I think we had briefly talked about the other day, like how your style has changed mm -hmm. as well. Like um, did you say you used to work more in acrylics yes. and then have gone into some oils. Right. Has the oil been more recent just in the past few years or? I started in oil work. originally, oh, so 25 years ago. Okay. Then I went to acrylics. And now I'm back to the oils and I'm really, really enjoying them right now. Yeah. So it's got me painting in two places and um, I decided not to take the oils downtown for just a bunch of reasons. You know, they're a bit messier and yeah. the drying time. Yes. Um, but I'm, I'm loving working on both sides of it, so. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, wonderful. All right, well, we look forward to seeing uh, your studio downtown next. So Excellent. everyone stay tuned. Thanks.